Warm greetings from Jamie Kelly. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about ISMS security objectives. Before we start, let me tell you about what all we will discuss in this session point by point. During this session, we will be discussing what is ISMS security objectives. So let's begin our session and talk about what is ISMS security objectives. According to the business requirement and relevant rules, there are three security objectives or aims to provide management support and guidance for information security. The CIA trio is a set of three security controls for protecting information at the organizational level, which are outlined below. The first one is confidentiality. The term confidentiality or privacy refers to the fact that certain protected information is only accessible to authorized people. Only these people are allowed to retrieve or edit data, according to the Information Security Management System's security measures. The security team categorizes data based on perceived risk and evaluates the data potential impact if it is compromised. Additional privacy safeguards are in place for high-risk data. The second one is integrity. Data integrity is managed by the Information Security Management System, which implements rules to assure the accuracy and consistency of stored data throughout its life cycle. User access controls, version controls, and checksums all help to ensure data integrity. The third one is availability. The ISM team takes the necessary precautions to guarantee that data is only available to authorized persons at all times. If a cyber attack happens, standard infosec procedures are followed. Proper hardware maintenance, patch installation and upgrading. Disaster recovery protocols implementation and incident response are among them. So now here is 8 tips to ensure information security objectives are met. The first one is outline an information security strategy. An effective strategy will make a business case about implementing an information security program. A description of security objectives will help to identify an organization security function. Taken together, security functions should produce clear beneficial outcomes that align with key business objectives. For example, a return on investment ROI on risk reduction. Once your security function is outlined, measure its impact across the business. Compile security requirements and get to know what people, processes and infrastructure are needed to fulfill them. The second one is define security objectives early on. The earlier you set security controls and restraints, the better off you will be at preventing a data breach. Planning security objectives will drive all future cybersecurity activities, including decision making. An example of a security objective is to provide a secure, reliable cloud stack, storage organization-wide and to authorize third parties with the assurance that the platform is appropriate to process sensitive information. Use plain, concise and logical language when writing your information security objectives. The third one is measure information security function outcomes. Develop metrics to set cybersecurity maturity level baselines and to measure information security management system ISMS capabilities against future state capabilities as defined in an organization's business requirements. Metrics will help CISOS to define their cybersecurity strategies and determine an enterprise's acceptable level of information security risk with likelihood and impact considered. The fourth one is conduct a cost analysis. Estimate planned cost and potential risk cost. For example, a CISO will emphasize operational cost with an understanding of potential cost tied to disastrous events. Factor security objective cost such as assets protection, forensic investigation and or litigation. The fifth one is define your informational security policy. Implementing a security policy will clearly identify the information assets and systems that your organization must protect. Policy should apply to physical, personal, administrative and network security. Information security policy will set rules and expectations for users and to protect information assets and systems. It also provides a foundation of security planning pertaining to systems and applications.
The sixth one is secure the four layers of information security. The four layers represent the way information flows within and between systems. Securing each of the four layers include setting application, infrastructure and physical assets with restrictions and ensuring data in motions is protected. One method to secure the four layers is encryption. The seventh one is implement an ISMS. An ISMS includes the documents, people's processes and technology that ensure information security occurs within an organization. Implementing an ISMS is time consuming and requires input and participation from the entire organization. Fortunately, participation from senior leaders and other key personnel requires only a working knowledge of cybersecurity, not subject matter expertise. So now we will talk about how to make information security objectives measurable and actionable. Building on the above, one measure of reliability success for Alliantist is in the availability of system like ISMS.online for customers to use. So we have the subject reliability of the service, a measure uptime then can set an uptime target in this case of minimum 99.5% availability which we continually achieve 100% against. Then we consider the frequency of measurement the owner responsible and where the source of the data for measurement would come from the evidence. Then we added that into ismas.online as a KPI that gets added as part of the management reviews and of course because it is a fundamental metric for our software service success is also continuously monitored operationally too. The source of that data is from the uptime logs, some other more strategic metrics, for example, customer, auditor and stakeholder confidence in our ISMS overall are less frequently measured, more subjective in some respects, but nonetheless important as part of the broader ISMS performance. This is a great opportunity to develop metrics that matter for your organization if not already done so. We encourage a fever and better manage instead of lots and poorly managed approach. If your organization has departments and a specific area of the business impacted differently with the confidentiality, integrity and availability CIA, that would justify breaking down measures for each area. I also would expect to see that breakdowns as well as the high level, more strategic matters. So let's talk about how to define process and responsibilities for evaluation of information security objectives. Once you have defined your objectives, determined your measures and their frequency for measurements, it's necessary to show how you will set about evaluating the results, then take action for any required changes or improvements to your ISMS. At Atlantis, we put together a team of representatives from the senior management team to form the ISMS board. The ISMS board is responsible for setting the targets for each of the measures. Our operations director owns the subjective that affects the ISMS from a reproduction and operations perspective. The source data is delegated to relevant members to staff to evidence, all of which is pulled from existing system and simply summarized into KPI and statics reporting that form a part of the regular management reviews in line with clause 9.3. So we have now come to the conclusion of this session. In case you have any questions regarding what we have discussed today, then please put them in the comment section of the video and we will be really happy answering them. Till we meet next, it's best versus from TNV Academy. Thank you.